Что-то горит. Пожар поехал. Понятно, что. Ukraine's military destroys Russian radar system controlling skies 700 kilometers inside Ukraine. Ukrainian military destroyed a long-range radar system in the Russian Bryansk region that controlled the sky up to 700 kilometers deep into Ukraine, sources say to RBC Ukraine. The Ukrainian Defense Forces destroyed the upgraded Nebo-U complex, which helped Russians detect Ukrainian weapons and supported bombers attacking Ukrainian border positions. The cost of the radar system is $100 million. According to sources, the complex was hit by seven kamikaze drones of aircraft type. At the same time, sources confirmed that the Nebo-U complex is no longer operational and likely turned into a sieve. The destruction of this radar system reduces the Russian army's ability to detect aerial targets along the northern border of Ukraine. Radar blindness will help Ukrainian troops conduct reconnaissance, launch drones and use army aviation more effectively in this area. Sources stated that this is the second Nebo UV complex destroyed by the 13th Directorate of Military Counterintelligence of the Security Service of Ukraine. The first one was destroyed in the Belgorod region of the Russian Federation. Also recently, the Kasta 2E2 radar complex near the temporarily occupied Ukrainian city of Berdyansk was destroyed. The claims would mean that Russians have fewer capabilities to detect airborne targets along the northern border of Ukraine. Thanks to the destruction of this radar, the enemy has fewer opportunities to detect air targets along Ukraine's northern border, the resource told the outlet. Russians' radar blindness will help our troops to conduct reconnaissance, launch drones and use army aviation in this area more efficiently. The Nebo-M is a 3D radar system that features a programmable multi-band design. The radar complex is made up of a central data fusion, a command post module and three radars. Nebo-M, RLM-ME, is a 3D acquisition radar. Russia will launch an offensive at end of May. Repelling it will be catastrophically difficult. The head of Ukraine's intelligence service, Kirillo Budanov, said that Russia will launch an offensive at the end of May to the beginning of June. He said this in an interview with German channel Das Erst. According to him, the Ukrainian armed forces are preparing to repel it, but it will be catastrophically difficult without Western help. Russian troops will launch an offensive in late May or early June. I think that by this time, we will be well prepared. And we will see how it goes. Without the help of our Western allies, it will be catastrophically difficult for us. And that's provided that, firstly, it comes in sufficient quantity, and secondly, it goes further. Budunov said, the head of the defense intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine stressed that weapons are needed to defeat the command posts of the Russians. As Ukrainian news agency earlier reported on April the 7th, the head of the main defense intelligence, Kirillo Budunov, said that Taurus missiles would significantly strengthen the capabilities of the security and defense forces of Ukraine. In addition, Following a regular meeting of the Supreme Commander-in-Chief's staff, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky said that Budanov and the head of the Foreign Intelligence Service, Ole Ivashchenko, had informed him of the Russians' plans to intensify the offensive. Two important intelligence reports by the head of the Foreign Intelligence Service, Ivashchenko and Budanov, on Russian actions in the spring and summer. We have to be prepared for all formats. 
of possible hostile actions. It is obvious that the madness in the Kremlin is still strong. The occupier will try to intensify assault and offensive actions, Zelensky said.